What's good, everyone? It's your boy Malik, aka Mac, and I'm here to share my journey with you. Growing up in the heart of the city, football's always been my passion, but it ain't easy. From the streets to the field, I face more obstacles than most, but I ain't backing down. So buckle up, because you're about to witness the rise of an underdog. Welcome to my world. But man, here's where I'm from, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I was the only kid, always was just that weird one that always was doing his own thing. But dad upped and left when I was like two years old. So I just had to become my own man. But when it came to football, Malik Mack Johnson loved this. And he was dreaming about going to that draft all his life. So he would just go out his own ways and just walk the streets. But just walking clear his mind, this right here, changed his life forever and when i say seen sirens outside of my crib guns and everybody i took off running man i went up to the officer like what's going on where's my mom at they said your mom is locked up and i'm just looking to my left man heart broke down this is all i got and my mom's over here finna go to jail i don't know what i'm gonna do man and i'm like officer i don't know if y'all know but i don't have a dad i'm not gonna have nowhere to stay and man, it was just the saddest day of my life. But they sure took my mom to jail. I'm checking the doors to see if I could have somewhere to sleep at night that's locked. And they had a big sign on the front door that said, Evicted. And man, this day right here scarred me forever. And I'm just sitting in the rain. When I say I'm out there just praying to God, man, I'm out here praying to God. And it was this one lady coming down the street, man. She changed my life forever. She said, hey, what are you doing in the rain? When I tell y'all I wanted to slap the mess out of this lady, y'all, I didn't even say a word. And she said, son, you could talk to me, I promise. So man, I just started talking. I said, hey, my mom just got kicked out. I don't have a dad, I have nowhere to go. And they took my mom to jail. I don't have anyone. And she said, son, come with me. I will be your help. I will find a way for you. And man, I'm so scared for my life, but I just said, I don't have anything else, so why not? And the first thing I said when I got in that car is, what's your name? And she said, Miss Amberly. And I said, Miss Amberly, I love you. And I'm grateful for you, because this is a blessing right here. And I'm thankful for everything. And man, when I say going on a rant, I went on a rant telling how I love football. I don't have any friends. I don't talk to anyone. I'm just a loner. And she said, son, I have a special place I'm going to take you. And that's my home. I'm gonna keep you here for the night. And tomorrow, we have some big plans. I have a lot of things set up for you, son. And I mean, bro, when I tell y'all we went to the biggest mansion that I've ever seen, I'm from the hood. I don't think y'all understand. This is a blessing to even be in this position right here, man. This is a blessing. I've never slept in a bed this comfortable, man. There was only one downside, man. She asked me that I want grapes for dinner. And I was like, I'm good. I just want to eat anything. I sleep in the clothes that I got on and all. Miss Amberly, I appreciate it. But it's time to get some rest for the night. And she was just watching over me as I sleep. And I was just ready for that big day tomorrow. So coming here tomorrow, it was the big day. She was taking me to her ex-boyfriend, which was a football coach. And man, when I tell you I was fired up to get on my first football team, bro, she said she was going to set everything up for me so I could change my life for the greater good and hers as well. This is my new stepmom, man. And she said, let me tell you something, son. You go out there and kick it to him. You hear me? And I said, Miss Amberly, I will never let you down. I appreciate this opportunity and I'm thankful for everything. That's all I can say to you is I'm thankful for picking me up that day. So I got up out the car and I said, it's time to change my life so I could get my mom out of prison. One, I still don't even know what she did, but it's time to go talk to this new coach to change my life. And when I say Miss Amberly left and I was sitting out here forever, I thought she had set me up, man. Coach didn't even show up. And I mean, I don't know what he was doing. So when he got there, it was nighttime. What's up, coach? How you doing, man? Uh, I play football. Um, I've never played a snap in my life, but uh, I'm ready to get out there on the field because I have some skills. And I think I can help your program. Hey, man. Don't be uh, scared, brother. Um, I know you can help my program out, man. Uh, 
You look like you got great size on you. Eh, let's get to work. And man, this is about the first time I seen Malik Mac Johnson smile just to put some equipment on. And I'm not going to lie, that equipment make him look six feet. But on first and 10, he absolutely rallied to the ball and they got the first down. But Malik, who never played a snap in his life, was low-key incredible. The way he was rallying to the ball. And look at that. We just got a turnover and it was amazing. On second and four, bam! Oh man, Malik finally got his first tackle and he ran through him. Not gonna lie. On third and three, bam! Oh man, made the quarterback flip. Malik Mack Johnson is going insane. He absolutely wrapped and rolled. Him and coach was working on those gator rolls and he was getting to that quarterback all night. When I say bam, it's like he strapped those pads on and went insane. He absolutely, bam, blacked out in football was always his dream and you can tell. On first and 10, he will get to the ball again with the great hit. And on first and 10, oh man, ran through him, but just too late to that ball. But absolutely push pulling him, dipping and ripping and getting another sack. He goes on with player to game with five tackles and in the mail. Miss Amberly gave him three interest letters from UTSA, UTEP, and Texas State. Man, that's amazing. But after the first game being a great game, going into the second game, he absolutely was sore. And I'm talking about they was driving him out of the club, taking cheap shots on him and trying to get him out of the game. So to the next play not one not two but three people it took to try to block me and i still almost got the sack but he threw it away and on second and ten i got pancaked for the first time ever in my life and i didn't like being on my knees like that and on first and ten oh man club over rip and go get the tackle yes sir but on third and ten boom oh man he was on that quarterback all night but i like to go above and beyond and on fourth and 18 i got another sack to get the turnover down for my team and man was we excited i was just making new friends and threw him to the ground football Ball was what I liked, and boom, I got to that quarterback and absolutely got the penalty. I roughed the passer, and that's on me. I will make up for it. And on fourth and eight, they drove down the field and got three, so I didn't make up for it. And on first and ten, I'm getting blocked up. Absolutely double team, but you see, I never give up. Go get the play. Boom. Oh, that wasn't a boom, but I met him in the backfield and said, No, sir, you're not going anywhere. But on first and ten, I club over rip and look at this. They're just double teaming me. But you think I don't care? I'm gonna go get that sack. Coach has always told me you gotta be mean and nasty. If you want to play D-line, but when no seconds on the clock, they almost beat us. But we going to win the game. I get player the game again with eight total tackles. And guess what? I pick up four scholarship offers in the mail. And when I say broke down in the tears, I wanted to tell my mom so bad. But I just couldn't because she was behind those bars in jail. Going into our next game, shed the block. Boom! What great ball get off. That got me that play in the backfield right there. But meeting the quarterback, boom! I absolutely cleaned this clock. Got up and said, son, you should never play football again. I'm doing this for my mom. Boom! Absolutely another hit in the backfield. I'm I mean, Malik Mack Johnson was fired up. And on third and seven, he goes, oh, man, he missed that tackle, got up. He was mad. He tried to get him, but he threw the ball away. On third and goal, I hit him with a spin move and hit the quarterback. I'm surprised they didn't go rough in the passer, but this time I got him. And on first and 10, they absolutely pancaked me. I didn't really like being on my knees that much, but I got back up on second and 12, said, I'm going to go get that sack. <laughs> got him. On second and one, he absolutely tried to run out, and I hit him. But on fourth and eight, they absolutely kicked three in. And man, when I tell you they beat us and I was pissed off, I was absolutely pissed off. But it wasn't over just yet. We could almost return this for six, but we just kind of didn't do nothing with it. But losing that first game, when I tell you I was sad, I never felt this feeling before, so it hit me kind of hard. But I absolutely pick up an offer from Houston. Oh, man. Going into our next game against DHS High School, I absolutely didn't make that tackle in the backfield. And they were kind of making fun of me. So I hit that quarterback and said, make fun of that. I'm going to make him flip all night and on second and three boom i told you i'm gonna make him flip it he did some patrick mahomes kind of thing and completed the pass but on second and ten i was pissed off i said i'm gonna go get him all night and on first and ten i read it and almost had my first interception and that is crazy for a d lineman but shedding a block and making the tackle on the backfield was amazing and on second and 12 went and go get that sack man i was fired up and boom oh man did i hit that quarterback yes i did we going to win the game and i pick up another offer from texas tech i mean these offers are absolutely rolling in Going into our next game against a school named D Rider on second and 10. They absolutely were double teaming me, and I made a big hit on the quarterback and made him fumble. Not only one time, boom, I made him fumble again. I was not playing with this QB. I was trying to put him out for the game. And on first and 10, I got blocked up, didn't do my assignment, lost outside containment, and absolutely made the tackle still. But on second and four, me and my teammates were building chemistry. But on first and 10, I push pulled this offensive alignment, and the quarterback fell right in my lap. But on third and 18, I boomed him, absolutely threw him to the ground. And on second and nine, I caught him right outside and had outside containment.
team at that time got player of the game ends the game off with six total tackles and picks up an offer from sec arkansas going into our next game against huma on second and seven boom i absolutely lined him up put my shoulder in his sternum and boom the quarterback as well told them they weren't going anywhere and on third and 13 i get another sack on third and six i was getting blocked up and they absolutely go score on us but on third and 16 i absolutely boom the quarterback i hit him so hard he didn't even remember the next day hitting the running back making him fumble i was going insane i went down the whole sideline and told them boys i run this but they absolutely kick three in overtime and we kind of go lose the game and i was just pissed off but I pick up a scholarship offer from Arizona State. Going to our next game, bull rushing and absolutely getting off that ball. That is clinic tape right there, coach said. And on third and 11, I go get another sack. And on first and 10, I'm push pulling, trying to get to that quarterback. And we absolutely intercept the ball. And I say, hey, buddy, I'm going to run with you. And I absolutely didn't make any blocks. So I turned around and said, I'm going to make a block for him. And on second and six, he absolutely runs it outside, but I hit him. And on second and 10, boom, that's how you line him up and make him fumble the ball. But <laughs> apparently, the lineman don't. Don't want to see me win he picks it back up but on first and 10 i hit the quarterback again and on third and 11 boom oh man i get player the game with five total tackle two sacks one forced fumble and i absolutely pick up a scholarship from washington going into our next game and the season's going pretty well for malik mac johnson to never play football and to go out there and absolutely get ran over like that is not acceptable but he's absolutely having a great season i mean absolutely never picking up a football going to meet this new coach for miss amberly none of this to be possible and she made it possible and he's absolutely living out of his dreams and you know like i said he's always wanted to go to the nfl so he can make that true if he goes to a big d1 college but going into our next game against sms he's absolutely going insane we going to win another game and he picks up another scholarship offer from stanford going into our next game against bayou came boom i made the qb fly and i felt kind of bad i didn't mean to hit him that hard and on first and ten boom i hit the running back that hard and i'm just having a spectacular game me and my teammate was on the same page and we just got that tackle for loss together and i hit the qb again and i said man i'm trying to break records out here and on second and ten, oh man i'm almost gonna get that interception but club over rip and go get another one my teammate absolutely made him fumble and i tried to get up on it but i was absolutely running with him but we win another game and he picks up another offer from wisconsin things are just getting better day by day for him what a man being one game away from that 4a state championship game malik mac johnson could have never thought that he had been in the position that he's in today but it's happening and we have to go out here and get the win so on second and seven he came out intense on this game against oakdale and man what i tell you he was rallying that ball he was not giving up on third and 13 they was trying to chop the trees down but malik said no he would not be rejected but not making the tackle we still get the deflection and on third and four that's how you dip and rip and go get the sack oh man that was clinic tape but absolutely batting the ball down on first and 10 i'm getting double team lost outside containment but i didn't give up i will make sure to hit him out of bounds i don't care we go on to win and we are advancing to that state championship game he picks up an offer from texas but man being in my first college stadium ever from the trenches all the way to a state championship game and it started off intense against huma we took it to the crib and i was absolutely fired up just to be out there man but absolutely going and making my first tackle man all of these scouts is out there and i've never seen it before but every time i watch that nfl draft man and been watching all those college football highlights and high school football highlights as well man it was just an inspiration and i just couldn't wait till i got my chance and guess what i got the chance and on first and 10 man i was looking like a superstar out there man i had like three sacks on the game already and on second and 17 boom i cleaned this clock and got player of the state championship game with nine total tackles and picked up a dream come true offer from t c u man i was hyped up. But man, I had the biggest decision of my life and I didn't even have my mom there, but I always had my stepmom, Miss Amberly, and she took care of me through this whole process. And after going over it with her, I have chose to commit to TCU. This has always been my dream school that no one knew. And after talking with her and talking to the coaches, they said coming in, I will be second on that depth chart. So it's time to get up there and work. But man, being on my first flight ever, it was time to take that trip to tcu man and i'm not gonna lie getting on my first flight this thing was kind of bumpy and i was scared for my life <laughs> ah, i don't know what was
what's going on, but I look out the window and we are underwater. So Malik, Mac Johnson said, this is not gonna be the end. I will not be defeated and making it all the way back to shore safe. Man, this was a journey. And let's see what happens next for me. I appreciate y'all tuning in. We all like, comment, subscribe, and drop in the comments down below what is next for him.